I am Dr. Shinomal Jos from the Department of Life Sciences. I will be taking on the topic serotonin and 5-HT receptors under the course uh, Molecular Physiology. Serotonin is found mostly in the digestive system, although it is also found in the blood platelets and throughout the central nervous system also. It is made up from the essential amino acid tryptophan. This amino acid must enter the body through your diet and is commonly found in foods such as nuts, cheese and red meat. Tryptophan deficiency can lead to lower serotonin levels. This can result in mood disorders such as anxiety and depression. Serotonin impacts every part of our body from your emotions to your motor skills and is considered a natural mood stabilizer. It's chemical that helps with sleeping, eating, digesting and also helps in reducing the depression, anxiety, heal wounds, stimulate nausea and maintain bone health. It also helps with blood clotting, bone health, sexual functions etc also. Then serotonin helps regulate your mood naturally. When your serotonin levels are normal which is actually 101 to 283 nanograms per milliliter, you will feel happier, calmer, more focused, less anxious and more emotionally stable. Low levels of serotonin in the brain may cause depression, anxiety and sleep trouble and many doctors will that time prescri prescribe a selective serotonin uptake inhibitor commonly known as SSRIs to treat the depression. They are the most commonly prescribed type of antidepressants and this SSRIs increase the level of serotonin in the brain by blocking the reabsorption of the serotonin so more of it is remaining active in the brain. SSRI include Prozac and Zoloft which are the common antidepressants prescribed by the doctors. So coming to the serotonin biosynthesis, on the left side panel you can see it starts from tryptophan and an enzyme hydroxylase will act on it and makes it 5-hydroxy tryptophan and this 5-hydroxy tryptophan is acted upon by decarboxylase and 5-hydroxy tryptamine which is a serotonin chemically that it is commonly known as serotonin and if you come to the breakdown of this serotonin monoamine oxidase an enzyme acts on this 5-hydroxy tryptamine and convert it into 5-hydroxy indole acetaldehyde. This 5-hydroxy indole acetaldehyde is again acted upon by a dehydrogenase and uh, produces 5-hydroxy indole acetic acid. And after several steps with reductases, it is, com it is converted to 5-hydroxy tryptophol. And the right side you can see again the tryptophan and melatonin which is another neurotransmitter which is having a common amino acid tryptophan. Serotonin is synthesized by the action of tryptophan hydroxylase. This is another uh, diagram which represents how the tryptophan uh, is getting converted to 5-hydroxy uh, tryptophan which is a powerful neurotransmitter. And this uh, diagram that is shown is a nerve ending and axon ending and you can see the 5-HT receptors also there in the postsynaptic membrane that is expressed over here. And coming to the tryptophan receptors. Uh, uh, the uh, serotonin receptors, they are known as a family of 5-HT receptors. There are basically 7 types of 5-HT receptors and coming to the family 5-HT1, we have again uh, subtypes 5-HT1A, 1B, 1D, 1E and 1F. Okay, and they are all G protein coupled ones and their function is inhibit, inhibit, inhibitory function and they are auto and hetero receptors. Coming to the 5-HT2 family, we have two subtypes 2A and 2B. They are also G protein coupled type of receptors and they are excitatory hetero receptors. And coming to the 5-HT3 uh, which is the only ligand gated ion channel, it is also an excitatory hetero receptor. It does not have any subtypes. 5-HT4 which is a G protein coupled one again excitatory hetero receptor it also does not have any subtypes whereas 5-HT5 which is also a G protein coupled receptor and again an inhibitory receptor have two subtypes 5-HT5A and 5-HT5B whereas 5-HT6 5-HT7 which are all G protein coupled are excitatory and these are the receptors that will function for receiving this serotonin in the postsynaptic uh, neuronal membrane. Thank you.